Good morning, Grace Church family. Uh, welcome to Monday, a new day for a devotional. And um, I want to talk to you about trusting and obeying the Lord in your daily walk. And so I like words and I thought I would look up synonyms for trust and for obey. So here we go. For trust, think of belief, faith, assurance, and confidence. For um, obey, think of follow, submit, surrender, heed, and observe. And I wanted to, all as well, um, I, well, I should say I was thinking of the hymn, the old hymn called Trust and Obey, and I used Google to get a little bit of a background on it and the lyrics so that I could better reflect on this hymn. Now, the inspiration for this hymn came from a young man who attended one of Dwight L. Moody's uh, uh, renowned revival back in, in 1886 and this young man stood up and said very simply I am not quite sure but I will trust and I am going to obey so in looking at the hymn um, here's what it says or shares about trusting and obeying Jesus when we do okay what a glory he sheds on our way he abides with us still our toil he doth richly repay. We are blessed. Favor he shows. Joy he bestows. Then in fellowship sweet we will sit at his feet or we'll walk by his side in the way. What he says he will do, where he sends we will go. Never fear, only trust and obey. And God's word, the Bible, isn't it full of um everything around trusting and obeying and the synonyms for those words that I mentioned, it's just loaded. And uh, as well, um, um, there is nothing but good and blessing and abundance that comes out of trusting and obeying. And then conversely, when you think of the disobedient side, God's word is also full of what happens when we disobey. And the Israelites, God's people, um, we definitely know that there was a lot of disobedience, but in Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 29 through Moses, God told them all of the blessings and the curses if they would obey on the one side or disobey on the other side. And pretty much a significant part of the Old Testament books we hear account after account of their disobedience, the fallout from their disobedience, and it's not a pretty picture. And as well, to basically tell us that God means what he says. And so I want to ask you, have you ever had anything bad come from doing good? Or have you had anything good from doing something bad? And that's just completely illogical, isn't it? And it doesn't make sense. And of course, practically speaking in our lives, we know it simply just isn't true. And so what have you been putting your trust and your faith in? Whether now, in the past, and certainly in the future to come. Your, is it your job? Is it your, your money or your material wealth? Is it your good health and your strength? Is it your relationships with family or with friends? And um, have you found out during COVID or at any other time how quickly you can lose your job, your wealth, your health, and your relationships? All of these things are temporal and they change like the wind, don't they? And when they do, we get tossed about in the waves of uncertainty because it's like building a house on shifting sand rather than on solid rock. Now, I have two verses for you this morning. Again, through Moses, God said to the Israelites in Deuteronomy 28, verse 2, All these blessings will come upon you, overtake you, if you obey the Lord your God. I believe I hear nothing but blessings and abundance in that. And also in Isaiah 26, verse 4, Trust in the Lord forever, for in God the Lord we have an everlasting rock. Do you hear that? 
in God, we have a solid and new immovable foundation. So we have everything to gain in blessings and nothing to lose by trusting and obeying Jesus. And when Jesus walked the earth 2,000 years ago, uh, people heard him talking about trusting and obeying in the flesh. But we have God's word and God's word tells us in our um, blind steps of faith, even when we don't know what is ahead, we have assurance through his, through scripture, we have the truth of scriptures to, uh, to know that God still speaks and he is, um, he follows through with his promises. And so we need to heed what scripture says. And in um, my Oswald Chambers May 30th devotional, it said, once you obey, you will immediately find that what he says is as solidly consistent as common sense. Isn't that awesome? So trial by faith is our teacher. And I pray that this time of COVID or um, whatever other trial you might be going through or in now or in the future to come will be your greatest teacher of trusting and obeying uh, so that you will see the goodness and the truth and the abundance that God has for you. So everything with God is always full of so much hope. And um, it, it happens if we trust and obey him. Therefore, really, there is no better way. So I pray that your, your heart will be open to him to do exactly that. So um, thank you for uh, tuning in. Um, may God keep you. May you have a wonderful week ahead. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye for now.